Hello everyone. Today we will be playing, or rather, I will let's play the entire Witch Spring. This version of Witch Spring introduces you to a different type of witch than the one that I may already made a video of. Let's meet together, Piper. Of course, uh, first I skip the intro, skip all the tutorials, so we can all start going into the story. And first thing in the story we had was warriors attacking her. And of course witches are descendants of ancient deities that were vilified and their names turned into demons, so that's the basically the whole premise of the Piper so far. And what I forgot to say is that Piper is like uh, something more of a direct descendant of the offspring of humans and gods, something like that. I should follow the warriors into Pudding Cave, it's in the east. Now let's go and do the story. This big golem here is part of the story as well. Pudding Cave. Cave infested with liquid monsters, so basically slimes. Yup, you should be able to. Okay. And the best thing in this game is uh, not only crafting but also a different ways to train because you can do literally slaughter fest on the enemies to level up or you can just go into your hut and train hard and that will have similar effect. Both are good ways to train. Killing an opponent with physical attack decreases cooldown of physical attack skills. Pop jump. No areas are currently accessible through this teleport altar. Let's start fighting. HP 70. Double swing. One shot. Of course, those are slimes. Leaf pudding. Mm, inventory tab. Oh, tab. I can access inventory this way. Toolbox. Maybe. Toolbox is for space. Oh, I can beat slimes to recover HP and MP. So basically it's infinite. Price 30 gold. Escape to cancel. <laughs> oh damn. Start combat. Free orb. Them. Only three enemies. I wanted to slay all four of them with this flame pillar. Physical double swing. Enhanced by the magic. Sticky black pudding. That will be interesting to fight. He got double turn, okay. Double swing. I think I need to cure myself to... Ruaret is what I was teach to craft. 
So I'm just gonna use this, that's all. Physical attack still best. Now one more. And the guy is gonna be the edge. Strategic crit. Swing for a game win. Combat experience stage one. Oh, the recovery response. This energy turns into beneficial magic that restores HP and MP when bored. The magic in the recovery stone will be replenished when you return after traveling to another area. Okay. Simple enough. Of course, I'm always going for the best possible route. So Slatterfest is always a thing I will do. Whenever it, of course, he is in my moral value. What is this? Leaf pudding slice, okay. That will heal me up. Combat. I think I need to train her a little bit more. On the in the house. No magic slab. Ninety two damage damage to say it in from Born. I don't know if she survived, so I'm gonna heal her up. And right by with the ruar at top. Because this game was had a special thing, the other version that I played already, where you could basically train for several years. I knew it, he got 5 HP left. And then go out as super boosted uh, witch and destroy everything. That was pretty satisfying. And damn, the voice actress did the great job. Let's take some more items and never mind, the story comes. Yep. Okay, Fiber. So, let's go back for now. Black Witches Forest. Oh, I forgot I can do this. That's basically how you hunt the rabbits uh, to make the uh, healing potion. You go here until the pop-up shift pull bow string appears. Then you pull bow string and of course I fucking miss. But for now let's enter the house. How to? And actions, train, combine, weapon, pet, sleep, toolbox, crafting, fiber spellbook, register for auto craft, what is this, magic enhancer, this is also a thing that was in the other game. Other version of Witch Spring that was great as well. 
Dutch frog spawn. No idea what this is. Leaf pudding extract, that's good. That's gonna recover a lot of HP. Start crafting space. Ruarets I will use to recover my MP most of the time. And leaf pudding extracts I will only use for the HP areas. Now, now, what should we do else? Let's get some sleep, of course. Because we can sleep like for a week, maybe, and then get some training done. Actions, pain. How many training slots can I do? Insufficient training sessions available. Oh, man. Let's for now go to settings and where is the tutorial for the training because I forgot. Info maybe. Combat journal respond info tutorial. Recovery destination hint foraging minimap. Register for autocraft. Eh, there is nothing uh, related to training here for now. So I guess that will come up later maybe. Let's leave for now. And the music, the PGM here is very good. Pudding cave. We can start fighting again. Physical attack, double swing. Got the rare leaf pudding, and so far it's Julio. Start combat. <laughs> Prior. And now we can freely go around here. Nothing else respawned. So let's go. Let's not touch the water. Pick this up. Oh boy, that's a lot of uh, slimes, I mean leaf puddings. Totally raped. Let's get a pentakill at once. And septakill and GG. Age leaf pudding slice. Can I spin my camera? I need to check the options. Damn! Controls, keyboard, enter, select, air, interact, move character, move cursor, size minimap, his mouse wheel, show hint, pull bow string, Q interact, size minimap. So I can't do this. Of course my mouse wheel is fucking broken. Okay.
But for now, let's heal up. A toolbox. We need pudding extract. And let's fight this. For the treasure. Another pen pack here. Turn bonus and double swing and GG. Damn, the voice actress did, did a really good job on making her cute. Treasure chest, let's go. Leaf pudding extract. Two units, nice. Pudding cave, after all. Also in progress, okay. Let's heal up again. With... For what it's... Uh, and progress the quest. Oh, the Senshi warriors, I mean. That's pretty soon, so... Uh, I guess it's good. We got a fighter. Lorang Palace Warriors. Mm. Let's destroy him. 87 plus burn. Physical attack swing to finish him. Turn bonus. Double swing. Strategically, <laughs> magic slab free or get a wrecked. Hundred fourteen critical hit, hundred thirty two percent damage. Warrior chase. She gonna be pulled. They think they will go crazy. Tiger and Warrior. <laughs> Let's just heal up. Nothing happens. It's a vanish because it hasn't been used in so long.
The teleportation altar has been activated. Mm -hmm. And the tutorial for altars. By walking up to it and imbuing it with magic. Aged leaf pudding slice. Mm. Okay, to the left, okay. Nope. Oh, I can hit three of them. Let's go home. 260 total damage. 21 damage. Physical attack double swing. Kablamo. A warrior from Lalak village. I couldn't read the rest. That guy wants to be beaten up. Let's give him what he wants. <laughs> I thought he would be stronger. So it found a bug full of ice. Mind control circle, circle magic circle a higher magic that controls your opponent's mind. Effective against beasts but rarely works against the rational humans. I just got a SMS. Okay, let's continue. A mind control magic circle. Big sharp teeth. 
it's train brainwashing. Animals sometimes appear in our biology. Try and mind control any that look useful. For now, oh, I got one training. Stuck, so for now. Info Jan 9, not info. Action sleep. HP FP recovered. I risk info. Actions. I can evolve my weapons like in the other one. Evolve. Cannot use it. Nourish. Cannot use it. Evolution stage. Additional skin magic plus magic shield. Life stuff, strength stuff, select weapon, cannot use yet. What can I craft though? Piper spell book. Extract dwarf column essence. HP Enhancer That will be useful. I will need a lot of aged puddings though for this to work So I will need to hunt a lot of those slimes to like increase my max HP to 200 maybe. That will be on the off episode though. Let me see how long I record. Only 27 minutes? Okay. Hmm. For now let's make 11 leaf pudding extracts. Just to recover my HP easily. Damn, she's still cute. <coughs> now time to train. Save load actions. Add training. We need magic practice. Let's start training on the autoplay because I suck at this one. Small bonus for to forty, nice. <laughs> craft weapon evolution pet. You have no pr ah, that's what this is. The mind control tutorial, I guess. I guess I skipped only the mm, most useless tutorials like walking. Crisp dry leaves. Oh, that looks like it's something up all. Yeah. <laughs> Understandable. Let's beat the shit out of it. Is possible to mind control this opponent? Find out if mind control is possible through the option before the combat starts or through event dialogue. If the enemy HP is below 30%, you can attempt to brainwash. 
So like Pokemon, first keep attacking until the enemy HP is 30% or hello. So basically the bar on the top right must go down. So one more physical attack. The enemy's mind is weak and use mind control. Or die. Strategy crit. Your opponent's HP is now 30% or below. At this point a brainwash magic circle will blink next to target's HP. When you use mind control magic on the target you have a chance to turn them into a pet. Once they become a pet the target can be summoned and utilized. Press magic slab. With my mouse? Ah. You see my generator. Select the- oh, that's how you do it. Select the brainwash magic circle from the list. Okay. Brain must succeed. The pet you just acquired has been sent home. A little wild boar cut and brainwashed by Piper Boar Jr. Piper can summon a pet while exploring. Press the tab button to bring up the field menu. Select pet. The pet window. The pet is the door with no release. Press space to summon. It's a rideable pet. Press R to ride the poor junior. Successfully mounted. Rideable pets can differ in the terrain they can traverse and their speed. Make sure it has a place to sleep inside. Okay. For now, I'll collect things before uh, returning to home. I'm just collecting the ingredients them for the how do you call it for the potions? Okay. Is there something here? Which is hideout. Wink. Wink, wink. Strawberries. Oh, the bird is still looking. I'm going to pick some strawberries in the forest, I'm sure the boar will love him. He's my companion now. Let's mount him. Crisp dry leaves. 
Dried Strawberry. I guess that works. Dried Strawberry. Oh, that's a big dragon. Oh, lightning dragon. <laughs> I guess. Hope we can tame him. Searching for strawberries completed. Press the tap button. Select the pad. Press the space. Feed. Lesser magic slab. Right strawberry. Board Junior has reached max affinity. Board Junior will have increased skill power in battle. I guess. And the rest will sum up, I guess, the end of the episode. Power 50 plus 250 percent, so like... If how much? 125, 175 of a star plus 200% of a That's a lot of math. Seed spirit, okay. I want to engage. Oh, I'm dead? Never mind, I fucked up. Wait, wait. Did I just respawn the loot by dying? That feels weird. I respawned the loot by dying. Uh, so I found a glitch. Okay, let's return to home because I don't have enough HP. We'll just say that. Oi. Pai Durobu. He'll torch this one. Inoshishi. And run off into the swamp. I usually can't get into swamp, but now I can raid this boar. Let's get the witch. This is the only one left. For now, let's just... Oi, don't be me. Don't say things like that, don't be me. Oh boy, 
マーキーガスレドアゲン。アイバレイスミン。フィールドメニュー、タイムトゥーヒラップ。ウィフリフプディングエクストラクト。And now continue. グロンプス。I can battle them at least. Or at least I think I can. Oh, board charge, nice. So I guess board attacks like this. Triple strike. Swing. I want to change my camera POV. Oh well, whatever. Let's just fight all of them. I might die again. Orb. Ouch. Let's swing for game. Giant frog spawn. Ah, that's where you get these items from frog spawns here. Bye bye, Baron. Toolbox. Rua Red Toad. Blackberry Pink. Ingredient. Okay. Thanks to what I can see such stuff. Start combat. <coughs> Rogan, bye bye. Bor auto charged without me even clicking. Oh, chest. Heartfelt cookie stat boost. A cookie made with great talent. Appears to have been stored by someone for a while. There is the beard. <coughs> for some HP. That teleports in. Alfredo. He's so scared, poor guy.
<laughs> she will lead him to the golem and he will eat Alfredo somewhere. Told you. Anyways, let's just go and do some. Oh, I. I missed this. Well, I can fight the seed spirit finally. Board <laughs> charge 42. Fire should be good because seed spirit is wood. 103. Plus 21. Bor Junior Bor Charge And Free Orb again And bye bye Glowing Pollen I can go here now, nice Backhill Golem Cave Small Blue Magic Stones Wait, can I just return here? No, I guess I need to sleep to respawn things. Pull bow string. Electric pufferfish spike, okay. Training is possible, like this training respawn. So anyways, thank you everyone for watching. I will see you with uh, the continuation of the main quest in the next episode. Bye bye. And have fun. Bye bye.